Hi guys, welcome to another audio video and I'll be reading 2 Kings 20 of the King James Version Bible and it reads, In those days was Ezekiah sick unto death, and the prophet Isaiah the son of Amos, Amos came to him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Then he turned his face to the wall, and prayed unto the Lord, saying, I beseech thee, O Lord, remember now how I have walked before thee in truth, and with a perfect heart, perfect heart, and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Ezekiel wept sore. And it came to pass, afore Isaiah was gone, out into the middle court, that the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Turn again and tell Ezekiel, the captain of my people, Thus saith the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer. I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will heal thee. On the third day thou shalt go up unto the house of the Lord, and I will add unto thy days fifteen years, and I will deliver thee and the city out of the hand of the king of Assyria, and I will defend the city for mine own sake and for my servant David's sake. And Isaiah said, Take a lump of figs. And they took and laid it on the boil, and he recovered. And Ezekiah said unto Isaiah, What shall be the sign of the Lord, that the Lord will heal me? and that I shall go up into the house of the Lord the third day. And Isaiah said, This sign shalt thou have of the Lord, that the Lord will do the thing that he hath spoken. Shall the shadow go forward ten degrees, or go back ten degrees? And Ezekiah answered, It is a light thing for the shadow to go down ten degrees. Nay, but let the shadow return backward ten degrees. And Isaiah the prophet cried unto the Lord, and he brought the shadow ten degrees backward, by which it had done, by which it had gone down in the dial of Ahaz. At that time, Berodash Baladan, the son of Baladan, king of Babylon, sent letters and a present unto Ezekiah, for he had heard that Ezekiah had been sick. And Hezekiah hearkened unto them, and shewed them all the house of his precious things, the silver, and the gold, and the spices, and the precious ointment, and all the house of his armour, and all that was found of his treasures, that there was nothing in his house, nor in all his dominion, that Hezekiah shewed them not. Then came Isaiah the prophet unto king Hezekiah, and said unto him, what said these men? And from whence came thee, came they unto thee? And Ezekiah said, They are come from a far country, even from Babylon. And he said, What have they seen in thine house? And Ezekiah answered, All the things that are in mine house have they seen. There is nothing among my treasures that I have not shewed them. And Isaiah said unto Ezekiah, Hear the word of the Lord. Behold, the days come that all that is in thine house and that which thy fathers have laid up in store unto this day shall be carried into Babylon. Nothing shall be left, saith the Lord. And of thy sons that shall issue from thee, which thou shalt beget, shall they take away. And they shall be eunuchs in the place of the king of Babylon. Then said Ezekiah unto Isaiah, Good is the word of the Lord which thou hast spoken. And he said, It is not good if peace and truth be in my days. And the rest of the acts of Ezekiah and all his might, and how he made a pool and a conduit and brought water into the city, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the Kings of Judah? And Ezekiah slept with his father, Fathers and Manasseh, his son, reigned in his stead. Okay, guys. So, there are a few things happening in this chapter. A prophecy was given um, about the 
children of Judah being taken into Babylon. So that prophecy was given. And not, well, the most important to me was the fact that Ezekiah cried to the Lord. He received the word from the Lord that he would die. And he cried unto the Lord. I mean, he cried himself to be sore, to cry yourself sore. That means that you've been crying a lot until, you know, I don't know if anybody has actually cried when they are raw. I mean, you, you smell raw because you've really cried a lot. And it's like there's no tear to cry anymore. There's no tears to cry. You're crying, but there's no tears coming. And you just feel, your body feels kind of sore. Your eyes feel kind of sore. Like there's nothing there. I mean, your tear glands have dried up. Okay, and he cried himself sore, and he pleaded with the Lord not to take him but to lengthen his days because he walked right in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord heard him, and before Isaiah that brought the word to him that he would die, so he should get his house in order, before he left, before he was in the middle of the courts, in the middle courts. The Lord spoke to him and told him to go back to Ezekiah because he heard his prayers and he would save him and lengthen his days. Guys, did you get that? The Lord listens to the pleas of his children. So even when he speaks a word, if you call out to him and ask him to help you, if it is his will, he will indeed come through for you. I mean, he did not add days to his life. He had 15 years to his life. He was going to die. And the Lord had it 15 years because he walked good in the sight of the Lord. And because he cried out to the Lord, he cried out to the Lord. He did not rebel, he did not rebuke, say I rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus or anything like that. He accepted it, but in his acceptance of it, he still wanted the Lord to take that cup from him. And so he prayed to the Lord and he asked the Lord to actually take that from him and to lengthen his days. And the Lord heard his pleads and answered him and granted him 15 more years of life that's 15 years for him to gain sons and daughters 15 years for him to serve the lord more 15 years for him to take care of his people because we see that he was indeed a man of faith ezekiel there's one thing you cannot say about ezekiel is that he was not a man of faith he was a man of faith and that is the reason why he seeked the Lord but if you find if you look intently he did not seek when he got the visitation from the people from Babylon he did not seek out the Lord's guidance as to whether he should show them all the wealth and the treasures of Judah and he went ahead and showed them enemy not seeking the Lord's guidance and so they came to basically survey all of what Judah had so that they could take everything from them, okay, and bring them into bondage. And the Lord told him, he did not know this, but if he had sought the Lord, then he would have gotten this. But he did not seek the Lord in that. And so sometimes, guys, it's best to just seek the Lord. No matter how silly it may seem, seek him for his guidance and i've heard this from people saying i mean god gave us wisdom god gave us knowledge god gave us understanding why would we go to the lord for everything to seek his advice on everything it's not that the lord did not give you wisdom it's not that the lord did not give you knowledge it is that the lord wants to know that you incorporate him into everything you're going to do and you do not stand on your own. The Lord knows everything ahead of you. So there's nothing wrong in seeking the Lord's guidance in certain matters. And in everything if you want to. If you want to seek the Lord in everything that you're going to do, do it.
there's nothing wrong with that mama if you want to seek the lord for everything if you want to seek the lord in everything say i want to go down the road lord should i go down the road seek him that's what he wants you to do he wants to know that you trust in him and you trust in his directives for you and for your life so you need to follow him and you need to seek him out and guys if we all sought the lord out more in everything that we did we wouldn't make so many mistakes that we have made and we wouldn't find ourselves bound by oppression and bound by suppression and we'd find ourselves actually ex excelling we find ourselves excelling in a way that we never even thought possible and so i'm telling you if you feel you need to seek the lord in everything seek him he won't curse you he won't say oh i gave you knowledge and wisdom why don't you use it he won't say that to you he will actually be pleased that you have actually come to him for his guidance and that's what the lord is to us he's a father to us and he wants us to come to him for guidance okay so guys i hope you got something from that okay that's that was a lot but i hope you got something in there okay the word is there you need to listen for it <laughs> okay guys so guys remember to continue to walk in your salvation and if you've not yet gained it then seek it there's no better time to begin than the present have yourselves a blessed day bye